well, well, well. I think. Oh dear. I was there briefly for a second. Oh, hello. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah, you are. You're there. Okay. We seem to be on, and I'm kind of occasionally talking. Um, and this is the, uh, well, this is the stream. This is my mix, as you can see. I, I look like I'm a uh, desperate person in a cave somewhere with my cores behind me. Uh, we've also got the Invisible Man, who's being invisible, because he's the Invisible Man. And we've got USA Wolf all the way from america cheers it's <laughs> great to be here bud so uh hopefully we'll get some people come in at some point if they understand the message that i've just sent to them which they might not so this could be could be very short with just us talking but you know anyway we've got a game to talk about because there was a game so uh oh hello i can hear myself yeah that's not me i don't think Oh, yeah, that's, that's weird. Uh -huh. I think I can hear myself. <laughs> A rollicking start. Um, I'll just ignore, David. I'll try and ignore yes. myself in the background. Um, I can't ignore myself. Invisible man, is your speakers on? We shouldn't hear it. We shouldn't hear it the same thing like like ten times. That's the same thing like like ten times. That's this is a good start. Well, I guess, yeah. Well, cheers. Do we have a do we have a lot of listeners on? Is that why? Would they be coming through? <laughs> this is going well. Ooh. Echo. Echo. All right, moving on. Well, yeah, moving on. Um, right. Oh God, we can't do it. We've got to sort this out. All right. Let's see. I'm going to mute myself. Okay. I don't think it's. I don't think it's you. So it's not me. I don't think it's you. Right, I'll mute so me. It's definitely you, man. Uh, am I echoing now? You are not. That sounds about normal. You are not. That sounds. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. It might be me then. There it is. Might be me then. Oh, hello. We got someone waiting. Let's let's bring him in anyway. In this chaotic echo world, it'll be a very paced conversation. It'll be a very paced conversation. Hi there. You're right. Hi there. We 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 will get on to talking about the football in a minute, but at the moment we're having difficulties with very scary echoes. I think well, a bit of an issue. Um, have, have a chat amongst yourselves while I uh, mute myself, because I think it might be me. That's fair. Let's just go, because it seems like it just stopped. Let's see. Sounds sounds good to me, so we'll just do it without, without David messing things up. Is that Kashmir? Is that who's on? David messing things up. Is that Kashmir? Is that who's on? Yeah, Kashmir Hawker. Oh dear! I think I'm ruining this, aren't I? Could be. Is the echo back now? I've just switched that back on. Well, the echo's back, and I can't hear the other person. I am the problem. Why is that then? Well, talk amongst yourselves while I uh, ruin the. Right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, love you. Is anybody else actually on this thing right now? They are not, so it's just going to be me chatting wildly with myself about the amazing 90 minutes that I just had 
after 100 days of painful, painful solitude. I don't know. It was a lot of fun. I see David putting on his headphones there. Um, but really, I guess we'll go ahead and get started with just me talking to myself. It was a tale of two games, I'd say before Adama and after Adama. Uh, looks like we're going straight for a nil-nil draw. And then suddenly out of nowhere, unmuted, Kashmir's there. Kashmir, I can't hear you. Still echoing, but I can't hear any echoes. Oh. Are you still echoing? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, you're not echoing to me anymore. Oh well. So you sound. I, I, are we echoing on yours, Casimir? Still can't hear you. We just can't hear you. <laughs> so Kashmir is unmuted in the chat. Anyway, David, while we were sitting there chatting amongst myself, um, going over about how it's two separate games, do you agree with that, with that hot take? I have no idea what you're saying. It's just echo, echo, echo. <sighs> Killing me. Oh. Did I work there? Hey, ah. I can hear you. Hey. Ah, I, I've had this problem on Zoom a couple of times. It's on the, it, I, it comes oddly onto the external microphone instead of the internal. So uh, it, it is what it is. Uh, but I'm here. And um, that, uh, it, well, how enjoyable was that? It was a nice game. It was phenomenal. It was an ace after after a certain member of the, the squad came back on. Uh, <laughs> but I think I think, you know, that's going to be the, the game plan against teams that are going to sit back and defend, right? You're going to wait and then bring on your most dangerous player uh, with, what, 20, 30 minutes to go? And he just flipped the thing on its head. Oh, we've got someone else on. As a Palace have just scored, um, a Milivojevic free kick from 20 yards straight into the top corner. Better, uh, better than Neto's goal. Look, look pretty good, straight into the left top <laughs> corner. But uh, oh, 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 but but I think pe, 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 that was quite. It went, that, those kind of goals are more special when you when you, when you score them like that. Essentially, I think the way he's just able to just launch it, no 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 fear at all. Mm -hmm. Goalkeeper doesn't know what doesn't even know it's past him. Exactly. I mean, I didn't know. I mean, the American announcer just started. Just started screaming basically and themselves like what what just happened like i had almost glanced away because i thought it was just you know not even really a teasing cross it was it just looks like it was going to be dealt with and it just just floated right over right over some heads but how good how good it, but that, that, that call kind of reminded me of adnan yanazai for man united against sunderland in 2013 where he just hit it simply like that in the box it mm. into the top corner um, also a bit like Zidane's, obviously, in the, the, the O2 Champions League final. It just one of those which, you know from the moment it leaves his foot, it's just going to fly straight in, uh, of which, well, is, as, is, 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 of which demonstrated there. Um, and like some people describe that as a goal of the season contender, of which is a fairly big praise uh, across social media, but it doesn't surprise me. At all. I, th I thought it was a bit of a hot take for goal of the season, but then I'm trying to stretch my mind to see what I can think of that's that's going to better that, because I think, uh, I don't know, because uh, I'm thinking of uh, Nevis, but his his best goals were in the Europa, obviously, so. Yeah, although, he's, uh, his, uh, strike, well, although he has had those two strikes against Manchester United in home game of the season, and then Aston Villa back on Remembering Sunday, so... Um, both of which into the right hand top corner. That first one though, when it hit the ne Nevis's first one though against United here, the, the sound of it hitting the bar before it went in. The satisfaction. Very much so. Very like just like I, I, I was I was excited to not sit there and be nervous the last, you know, five, ten minutes of the game. I can't remember when that one uh, when that one flew in, but definitely like Definitely for him, like especially getting off how many goals did he have overturned um, that he thought were his first, you know, and then 
uh, you know, to get a thump like that. You saw him afterwards. He was like, like calling to the crowd to, uh, to hear them. But uh, I don't, I don't think, I don't think anybody was there. Um, yeah, the, the, was... yeah, he obviously had those two goals, which I think dented his confidence a little bit in terms of um, the Liverpool game, the Liverpool goal at, at Anfield, and then the, uh, which was microscopic, and then obviously the handball and the run up to the one at Old Trafford. Um, in mm-hmm. the cup. And um, yeah, it, it, despite it, I certainly think he has um, he has settled in extremely well, and he's uh, a, a whole. And, he, and I think that the, the three months clearly that we've just had off has probably no doubt helped him significantly. An early summer break is, um, and that early summer break has certainly developed him much further by the looks of it. So the confidence with his finish was was just sublime. Yeah, I would. Uh, I mean, I would say, but I'll, I'll ask you too. Like the uh, the three month layoff didn't look like it affected Wolves uh, hardly at all. Like I'd say the. Uh, just in front of goal it seemed to be where we were having trouble linking up, but uh, but I've you know times, it? But, oh of course yeah, and you expect it to be, uh, but as far as like the other games that we've seen, like I thought West Ham looked tired in the first minute. Um, I I thought I honestly got that we trounce all over oh, them. Like yeah, uh, I mean compared to the Villa and Sheffield United game, uh, which was absolute ass. It was uh, I don't I shouldn't call it a game. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty poor. Um, but uh, that, it was much much better uh, ability on show. Um, I know I know what you mean about West Ham. They they do did look a bit sluggish. We did for a, a bit of time, but realistically, did we ever look in trouble? Not really. Oh, We're, under immense oh, pressure. I don't I don't think so. Neither. Um, let, not let, immense. They got a couple of chances past their back line, especially I forget who did that first. Uh, one at the end of the first half, but and Antonio whipping it just over the bar as well, which um, it, I think we were just talking towards, towards the start of the second half, which is fair enough. They, they do when they that the problem with West Ham is the well, they they, they they just sit so deep, um, and that was obviously blatant within that was pretty blatant within within that first half, um, mm-hmm. and um, it 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 came out to bite them uh, uh, pretty much. I I would I would say. Eventually, of knowing of the the options we had on the bench, which Nuno uh, utilised spectacularly, um, and I have to say, uh, well, uh, if you haven't seen as well, actually, that uh, a Raul's goal makes him the highest highest Premier League goal scorer for Wolves. Um, so, and in fact, the highest, the biggest number are for a Mexican in a single season. So he's already right. He's already cemented himself into into folklore. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that, and, he, and clearly the way in which our bench is that 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 strong that first eleven is clearly very strong, as was demonstrated in the opening 10-15 minutes, where we just pretty much just pinned them in their own half. Um, West Ham yeah. didn't make an, an, an effort, it seemed. Um, but yeah, that that starting squad plus that now expanded nine-man bench makes us look even more impressive, I think. And it's, yeah, going be, um, it, it's going to be it's interesting fine. to see how, say, the other teams cope, knowing the, the options we have. Yeah, there's there's immense attacking quality on on that bench, especially when you think of the other 23s that now are going to get shots every uh, every game to come in as well. Like I, I just kind of thought he'd bring Jordan on just to, just to see. Um, but you know, I, I think there will be a time and place. Maybe Wednesday, back uh, back at Wolves, we'll see a uh, slightly different lineup. Because uh, how many games we play over the next two weeks? It's got to be, uh, it's got to be absurd. Yeah, that was that was our forty ninth game of the season, or something on on those lines already, um, which is which is crazy when we think about. Which is crazy, it's crazy. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to bring someone else in here. We've got Sean Williams. So let's see, let's see if we can get him on in, in, in a nice echoey way. Is it still echoing in your head? Oh yeah, it's echoing like that. So, so you're suffering for us. It's got to be. I don't know. We're having we're having a good time, only hearing each other once. So, I don't know. He got um, remind whoever just came on that they're probably already muted if they need to unmute uh, yeah, themselves. Yeah. Sean, hello. Oh, there we go. Hi, oh, guys. How are you doing? 
All right, there. Let's go on, Sean. Thank you. How many we got on here? We got one, two, three, four, four and a bit. But we've just oh, got a really a bad echo, so I'm, I'm I can only apologise for that because I can't. You can't even hear your th your own thoughts. I'm guessing. No, not at all. Right, I'm going <laughs> to. You'll if suffer I, through I, this I'm one. In strange and... places, it's because yeah. I've got the settings up on my uh, screen. Well, you have until Wednesday to get it fixed, then, because you're you're going to cost us listeners. <laughs> All right. Well, let's. Uh, we should probably talk about this first. Sean, man of the match. Well, um, uh, well, I, I thought Triora I put a shift. You know, I know, uh, I know. We you know, come on until the second half, like, but uh, you know, his class told, didn't it? I felt guilty because I thought the same thing. I said, like, you just can't give it to somebody that played twenty five minutes, but. Yeah. Um, you know, in, in my little poor monologue, like it was like it was two different games. It was before he came on and after he came on. It was just absurd. He set up both those goals. He won't get the assist for the second one, but without him, you know, he pulls three guys right over to him, and then uh, you know, Doherty's just got a got a little chip in there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Anyway, how are you? It's Alex, isn't it? It's Alex. It's Alex. That's yeah, right. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> in the uh, in the pub. Uh, we are in the, um, I don't know, I can't remember which pub we were in there, uh, when you came over. You came over, didn't you? I did, yeah. They all they all run together for me. I'm, I'm going to be, be honest with you. I, I start out at the uh, the Western, and then from there, the Western or the, I don't even remember the name, because it's been, what, two years since I made it over. Um, oh, it's been two years. I mean, eh? So, you know, it was, it was looking really good to get over this, uh, maybe this, uh, you know, August, September, October. Probably not so much now, but... Um, yeah. It's it's good to see you too. I thought you I, you had a familiar face. Like I'm bad with names, so uh, so you're always gonna, everybody's gonna have to we gonna have to it. just just steal that. But you know, I meet like a hundred people when I go over too. Yeah, you do. Yeah, no, I know it's fairly busy, wasn't it? Yeah, we were in Bohemians. I think I was in Bohemians uh, when you were you were in there with a few of the guys. Is that the one with the long spiral staircase? I guess a thousand of them have a long spiral staircase down to the bathroom, but. You know, What's that I don't know. Ca on? I, I, I don't know who's who you see. With what? It, well, who, who was the other chap on? Was that Bod? It's Bod. He's having some Hello. some problems I, with I, his. I, I basically, yeah, I've got a lot of issues with hearing everything about 15 times through my headphones, so I can't. Understand. Oh, right. <laughs> But, He's got a lot of issues anyway. So, uh, Kashmir, what were you saying? Because I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I j j just want to know wh wh which bit of the states are you on? I think if, are you uh, aren't you on Twitter or something? I'm sure I recognise the, the US wall. The US wall. I'm on. Uh, I'm on Twitter, but I think that's a different person. So I. Uh, All right, fair enough. But I, but I'm in. Uh, I'm in. I'm in Texas. I'm in uh, Austin, as uh, is, is where we're at. So um, nice. I. Very in the, in the last. Very good Formula One track, must be said. <laughs> it's it, you know I don't I'm not into racing as much, but I love going there for concerts. It's a beautiful outdoor venue. Um, Def Leppard is actually my favorite band to see live out there. Um, so they uh, they rocked me. But like living in uh, Texas, especially, it's a huge uh, uh, Hispanic population. Um, obviously, a lot of Mexican ties as well because we share a border and. Um, in the last two years, I've been stopped. Uh, you know, people see me wearing a wolf's crest and like, ah, oh, you got Raul. I'm like, yeah, 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 we we do. So he is, uh, he is like the ticket uh, in the Americas. Like he is uh, anything that you guys hear over there is absolutely true. Like um, the the wolves brand is just going to take off as long as they keep him, yeah. which I think they will. Um, yeah. I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried about him going because I, uh, I, I, I as as prolific as he is i don't know that he has the uh you know the goal to game ratio to uh to especially in this market that's coming up to to spend what we're going to ask for him so i think we're blessed with a lot of these guys for a few more years um maybe not triori but i you know i will david like he was uh you know, linked with liverpool and all that but he i don't think he starts for liverpool even though i think he's the best yeah. player in the in the premier league but I don't know what do you guys I, think. I, I I think I think Adama or Raul moving would be um well, well Raul Raul particularly Raul I think will Raul I think will settle anywhere but um 
the Dharma, knowing how long it took for him to settle in eventually. Um, I think that might be the, the case again at another club. Um, and and it, the system in which Nino has just makes him so as comfortable and as and as I'm valuable not- as he is, which, um, yeah, which was again on show show tonight with the with just how sublime right. the assist was. Um, you, you don't have many. We, we don't think there's that many people in the Premier League or in yeah. European football who are able to just cross a ball back. We're, we're with such ease and confidence that they're onto a man who's just coming mm-hmm. himself popping up anywhere, um, as obviously Raul did with the header. And I think, as you say, it's going to be difficult for I think most teams to try and buy at heavy prices for the next couple of years because of I'll, uh, I'll go the way things yeah, have happened. You can put, yeah, put what you want on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Sean? <laughs> It's all right. My wife and my mother-in-law are coming in the room now, so I should. It's my, I've uh, hugged the telly all afternoon, so it's my turn to sort of go into the conservatory. I think. Has <laughs> <laughs> uh, Palace of Tuna up, by the way? Uh, I don't know. Yes, yeah, so I just saw Palace. Palace have just scored a second, haven't they? Yes, they have. Well, oh. it's Bournemouth in deeper trouble, which I wouldn't want to. Uh, wouldn't want to obviously put a, a banker on Wednesday. <laughs> Uh, it's looking good. Yeah, unless uh, you know, in less desperation. Are you still there? Or have I lost you? Is that you, Sean? Sean, I don't think you've lost us. I think I can, I can still hear. You. I don't see you, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. It might have. I think I'm, I thought I'd lost a bit of connection then. Frozen up a little, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it it does it does interest me, you know, how, how they could possibly improve this team. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, we, uh, we 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 seem to be eking out these wins, and uh, you know, we're in control of that today. But against the really top teams, I just think that uh, I think they're just they're, they're they're you know maybe two players short of a real shout at a Champions League spot next season. I think they I think they need a couple a couple more. I think. Yeah, I would uh, I would agree with that. But the the hard part is deciding who would uh, who would. Yeah. Get, get moved out right so um it's it's kind of hard to say because you got that partnership with jota and, and Jimenez. but uh, although, although jota looked really frustrated today um and even a little bit selfish at times i thought um yeah. when he like for instance he could have released in uh early and had a had him in clean on goal um i think that was that before he came off or was at the end of the first half i can't can't recall yeah. he, he, yeah. he, he came out looking he came out looking very but I, uh, he starts off games, I think, you, he start, usually starts off games very well in terms of wanting to get out the blocks, obviously um, good on the ball with the opening bit. Obviously, everybody's desperate to, to do what they can for the team. Um, and it's understandable why some people think he can therefore sometimes be a bit mm-hmm. too over-determined, essentially. Um, but it, it, he'll, knowing the way in which he, he uh, in the run-up to, in the run-up to, the, in, in the, run-up to the lockdown and stuff, um, and obviously the suspension of the season, he has really found his feet. I think it'll probably take him a few games to, to do that, but it's, uh, it's uh, I'm, I'm sure his time will come. Um, and it's understandable why people think he is, he was a bit, yeah, not a, not to his best in terms of, of being, able to say, a bit selfish of himself. Um, and uh, But I'm sure he'll get in on the act at some point. And Wednesday could be a perfect opportunity, knowing... <laughs> No, yeah, I'm not, I'm not overly worried about it. Um, it. It's not something I think that is a characteristic of him. I just thought um, today there were there were clear times where he needed to to release the ball and he and he stayed on it. But that's um, from time to time that that happens with him because he's always desperate to get on the on the team sheet as well, so that he or on the score sheet, yeah, so he can uh, can move. Over. Who who is he supposed to go to? United? I don't know. I still don't buy. I don't think anybody's going this year. Um, no. Is, yeah, you're you're not, you're not leaving Nuno like no, for any other reason. Suit, like, wouldn't suit any of them, would it? Really? I think I think part of the part of the thing is being with Nuno. That's what makes half of those players the players they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and I can hear you properly now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just and particularly yeah, the, the system under Nuno you know, works, and the financial climate at the minute is going to make it, it well almost I think impossible for most people to be able to eke out a move if they wanted to. Well, I do think that the um, 
the financial impact of all this is, is actually going to play into our favor for more, more reasons than, than that. Like um, not just that, but being off for three months um, and Wolves coming back at full fitness. Cause they're so you know, set that rigorous, uh, that rigorous program. Like they looked, they looked really sharp and safe and they haven't played football in a hundred days. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm actually, I think they'll, they'll take advantage of that. And if Bournemouth gets just, you know, played off the pitch today, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Am I, am I, uh, yeah, still on here? I'm sorry. No, we can, we can hear you. Uh, no, they, no, Palace are looking extremely comfortable looking at the, looking at the game, um, and seeing what I'm seeing on screen. Um, I'd say it was a good free kick from Milivojevic and then I forgot who scored. Oh, it was Jordan Ayew who got the second, um, and, uh, Bournemouth haven't really looked into the game too much, um, of which happens to be the first, of which happens if we didn't, didn't know actually, Alex, is the first game which has been on... I'm on a Zoom call. Terrestrial TV uh, here, here in the UK for 32 years. Ooh, so it's uh, rather... When people, some, some have complained, Bournemouth Palace on the BBC, what? <laughs> but it, it is what it is. Um, is it... Is it, is it st- Still 2 0. It is, yes. Yeah. In form of just launching balls wherever they can and just miserably failing in their new kit, which looks half decent, but it's probably going to be a championship one at this rate. Did they, uh, did they oh, pull a new kit out? That's interesting. Yeah, well, they've, it's already it's... Got, they've already got into their oh, yeah. ne- next season stuff by looking at it. But... It's interesting, Bournemouth down the bottom end of the uh, league within this season that we get VAR. Mm hmm. Strange coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm bitter, you know. Oh, we don't need to be because we're unbeaten <laughs> against Bournemouth since being in the club. It's not like World stands to be bitter. Uh. <laughs> oh man, guys! So that was uh, that was a good uh, release after a hundred days, though. I, I must say, I don't know that I would have handled a. Uh, a loss or even a draw really in the same in the same fashion so it's uh i'm glad to have that distraction back in my life yeah well, it's also yeah, it was nice to, uh, to have it back again wasn't it yeah when when do you when do you think that they'll uh let the fans back in the ground when do you, how do long do you think that will be before that happens oh i don't think it'll be till the next season starts um, when, uh, uh, isn't the talk of the season starting in september or yeah I think so. Uh, I, I know. So, I'm, yeah, I'm, right. To put on the record, I'm a member of the, of the fans' parliament, and in fact, on Thursday, our next meeting, which is a kind of an unofficial one, a relaxed one, uh, that we, the Premier League have asked us for feedback in terms of, um, but the Premier League have asked us for feedback in terms of scenarios in relation to, to letting fans back in. So it'd be interesting to see what from nationally, it's what nationally the thinking is, knowing obviously. It can all depend on a huge number of situations. Say if there's a say regional lockdowns, if there's a surge in cases, if yeah. they, this next season gets delayed because of a second surge or what? Um, yeah, well, it'd be interesting because even those. even with the uh, distancing going down to a metre, it's still going to be difficult in the ground. Oh yes, yeah. knowing, knowing how yeah. tight the seats and stuff are in in a ground, <laughs> yeah. knowing how t- t- yeah tight seats are and stuff, it, it wouldn't feel the same if say. A th- yeah, our thirty-two thousand seat of ground only could have less than half of those last half people in, and then obviously yeah. it gets talks of loyalty. And, and yeah, and then who goes? Ballot, <laughs> That's yeah, the thing. Balance yeah. for season ticket holders or members or what, and seeing who can get in. It's just a bit of a mess. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't. I mean, think, be... I don't think we'll personally see anybody in for. To at least the start of next season, if not maybe start of next year, I I'm not sure. Yeah. Knowing of how knowing of how edgy the situation is. I think it'll be an interesting time. I guess it's already an interesting time to watch uh, all the stuff going on in America, per se. But uh, these uh, these these people that we uh, share a country with, they're acting like nothing has happened. So if uh, you take a look at the numbers over the next few months and see what the NFL does in the fall, I think you might see some fans trickle back in next January. Um, but I don't yeah. think it's going to be anywhere near normal until 21 to 22. And that's yeah. just kind of how I've been feeling. Yeah, oh, I think you're probably right. 
yeah, we won't have almost a, a normal season until after come 23, 24, because of the World Cup being obviously at the under 22. So we have to get used yeah. to it from now. <laughs> yeah. Don't remind me about that. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got it in 20, I'll, I'll, you've got it coming in 26. So that's going to I, I think I'll probably uh, if 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 the government drop the um, the thing from two meters down to one meter, then I, I, if you think of like thirty two thousand crowd, in order to in order to keep one meter, that'd be like two seats, wouldn't it? So yeah. it'd be like a third, wouldn't it? It'd be barely ten thousand. Oh, there'll be some unha unhappy people who don't get into that. <laughs> yeah, eight thousand, but eight to ten thousand, I reckon. Sprinkled around the ground with uh, a couple of seats yeah, really in between. That'd, that'd probably keep the meter distance, wouldn't it? Whether yeah, they'll do that yeah. or not, I don't know. It's it's um it's um, uh, yeah a meter is a, a meter is thirty foot. So I think it would roughly work out three seats between people. So it'd be yeah three yeah three seats between yeah probably yeah thirty centimeters a seat into yeah. eight. I mean we've got thirty two thousand and fifty capacity at the moment. Um so. We could get in at around nine, maybe ten, if yeah. not slightly lower because of restrictions yeah. and away fans attending and what. So, but yeah, I think it's going to be difficult. Well. And have the uh, you know the fans' parliament? Have they said like? Have they give you any idea what they're going to talk about? Apart, from, you know, like some of the scenarios or not? We haven't been told any scenarios yet. We'll get. We'll, we'll see what it, we'll see what they're like on Thursday. Um, yeah. Obviously, all the minutes come out a couple of weeks later. I think so. Um, yeah. Um, but we'll but we'll be looking closely. Um, I don't know what the Premier League is is thinking, but we'll we'll have a we'll have a gander. Um, yeah. Right. I, I'm guessing. Just to, I'll just take this note, moment to just saying. So if anyone else is out there watching, you know, please come on, come on, come mm -hmm. and talk to us. Don't don't just sit there. Come on <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Come on, come on. I'll, I won't say anything. You can say something. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Catherine. Yeah, carry carry. Uh, I I. Uh, I think, as, as I was saying, it'd be interesting to see what the Premier League are actually just thinking in general, knowing of all of the complexities around it. Well, one, one thing I am looking forward to, though, is seeing what the mosaics and stuff look like at Molyneux for Wednesday's game, knowing of oh, yeah. how covered the other stadiums are. Bournemouth, in fact, Bournemouth have basically almost covered all of their seats with their stuff, considering how small the vitality is. I was going to say it's not that hard, is it, really? <laughs> it's just over 12,000. I think it's 11, 12,000 down there. One of the smallest ever stadiums in the top flight. It is, yeah. I think that'll be one of my regrets is not uh, getting over there to see a top flight match now that they're on their way. No, I'm just kidding. They'll be, they'll be fine. They'll be back if they don't uh, stay up as it is. But that's, uh, that's uh, I don't know. I want to, the only grounds I've been to are Cardiff. And uh, and wolves, so I got a I got a lot to check off on my bucket list. Yeah. You've done two two of the ninety two then. Uh, that means the, <laughs> the ninety two uh, Lee grounds. Yes, there's, there's a lot there's a lot to go. I was able to get. I in fact firstly got to. Well, I, I went anywhere but Molyneux in twenty, well, essentially twenty seventeen. Whilst at uni, and then was able to do a couple of grounds up in Yorkshire. So. Grounds in Sheffield, Leeds, um, Barnsley, even on a cold, wet Tuesday night, cost a £27 at the <laughs> gate. But 3 1 win, Dave Edwards with two, couldn't complain, and he just took off there. We're all on 18 at the minute. It would be helpful, though, if Notts County got back into the Football League and then it'll increase it to 19. <laughs> well, I, I, I've done 55 different grounds, but there's quite a few of those grounds that are not grounds anymore. You know, I, I mean, um, you know, like Ayrson Park at uh, Middlesbrough mm. and, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I've been going down the walls 40 years. So uh, a lot of those grounds I was going to when I was sort of 18, you know, when Bull and Much and Downing and uh, Robbie Dennison were playing. So uh, I did all of those sorts of grounds when I was 18, 19, 20, 21, that sort of age. So 30 before, odd years ago. Yeah, before all the modern, before obviously after Hillsborough and then obviously all the modern stadiums yeah. have to come in all seated and stuff. Yeah. There's not that many grounds though left, which feels a shame in terms of, I do hope, and I'm sure it will be the case that whenever the revised stadium plans eventually get unveiled, because clearly by the looks of it, the video that was released 
last night in LinkedIn with Walter Cap with the council in terms of project we like. Um, I I'm sure that character will be in Molyneux, um, knowing that the, the campaign for say safe for standing is really ramping up by the week, which I think would only <laughs> bring a, a really, really positive in enhance what is already a cracking atmosphere. At it might Molyneux. help. It might well help the cause. Um, sorry, I've lost my camera again. Uh, it, 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 this whole uh, needing distancing might actually mean there'll be more standing because you can it's easier to achieve a meter's distance with people standing than sitting so mm -hmm. it might be a good thing well, until until a goal is scored and then it's uh, you know <laughs> what, what, what are we even doing yes all right so these uh these these wolves then uh what do we got are we have eight left are they uh, are they a champions are they a champions uh, league side? Well, we could we could reach seventy points if we won every single game for the rest of the season, which I think oh, would be enough to get into the top four. Uh, we've only we only have on paper, uh, according to the athletic um, subscription site and so forth. Uh, Tim Spears has done a lot of digging, and um, we've we've got apparently got the third easiest one on paper. Um, well, the next, the next two are certainly a help with Bournemouth and then Villa. Although Villa. local derby means everything goes out of the window, as of such. Um, so, and do you think it'll still have the same uh, intensity, not having the crowd behind it? I well, think so. I think it. I think it helps not having the crowd behind it. I mean, it, you know, I mean, if they've got the tails up at Villa Park, then that can be an intimidating place, can't it? So. You know, I think I think that it, I, I actually think this atmosphere at these grounds suits Wolves because it, it's um, it we're just clinical, aren't we? And mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, they just got that rhythm. And once they get into the game, and passing it from the back and keeping possession, I think it plays right into a, a team like Wolves. This does, where somewhere a team like the Villa have got to get really up and fired up and get the crowd behind them and all the rest of it. So, you, you know, you find the poorer teams can raise themselves for one or two games, but not do it systematically. And I think this will play into the Wolves' hands. I think one thing that definitely helped was, <coughs> was uh, Olympiakos in the first leg of the last 16. Yeah, behind closed doors. Uh, that was, I think, that was announced three days before the game took place. Uh, clearly gave us an indication as to what was to come. Um, and um, I certainly think that experience where he scored a decent goal, in fact, thanks to Pedro Neto again on that mm. night, uh, was a, was a, yeah, was a, was where we was to get the lad settled. Obviously, the two behind closed doors friendly games obviously also did <laughs> the same too against Forest and then Blues. So, and, and as you say, the way in which we would just, just look normal. I don't yeah. think the, the silence and the round the ground affected us at all. As clear what, as were, uh, what, was, what were your all's feelings then, um, March 12th, watching, uh, watching that game behind closed doors? Like, uh, for me, I was, um, I didn't know that I'd, I'd see Wolves again in the, this calendar year, let alone, you know, by, by June. So that was, uh, that was, uh, for, for a multitude of reasons, not just football, but like watching the world just kind of shut down. Like the, uh, the Thanos snap, you know, you just saw everything kind of dissolve uh, right around right around there, which of course the next day was uh, Ruben Nevis and, and my birthday. So we, um, you know, we, we, have, we have that have that together. But um, I don't know, what, are you, what were you guys' thoughts? Like how, how bad was that and how great was today to have it back? It, 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 felt, it obviously feels strange that there's no fans in the stadium, but football being back after what was what is still one of the, for surely one of the most well for our generation one of the most frightening periods. Yeah, we hope so. In, in, a, in, a, in a generation, knowing knowing that 70 years ago we were still in combat against the Germans, even though at that point, obviously victory in Europe was, was declared back in 1945. It's just that release yeah. of it, it, the Premier League being back. I think has certainly brought happiness to people, even if teams don't respond to it on the pitch. Because fo football is such a such a mob, such a powerful thing. When mm. we think about it, it's people gathering together, regardless of regardless of their backgrounds, regardless of their sex, and and on all sorts. All together as one team. 
And obviously in 2018, for example, that I think was a big hand in terms of England's excellent World Cup run. Um, and yeah. it's, it's that kind of passion which I think is going to help the boys go forward. Um, Rick was absolutely buzzing. It's alive with, uh, with us. We've got a huge number of our folks trending at the minute, unsurprisingly. Pedro Neto is fifth trending in the UK. And, and, and he, he deserves to be with the quality he is. Yes, yeah. I think Neto's going to be a great player, I do. I think he's. I think Neto's got the potential to be a really, really good player. Uh, I mean, he's uh, he, he's uh, he's got real confidence in him, in his own ability. He's quick. Uh, he's got a good touch. Uh, how old is he now? He's only twenty. Is he twenty or twenty-one? Or he's only a young mm. lad, isn't he? He's not. I don't even if he's. Who? Raul? I think he's twenty-nine. He's he's uh, he's older. Um, Pedro oh, Neto. Yeah, Raul's older. Oh, yeah. Pedro Neto. Um, I thought you I, said Raul, yeah. Pedro Neto was the 9th of March 2000. He has 20 months. He has 20 years, three months, and 11 days. Oh, wow. Uh, he's going to be a player. He is. I mean, you know, when he builds up his strength and he's got a bit more nous than that, I mean, when he's, you know, I don't know, 23, 24, 25, he's going to be some player. He is. I've oh, got a lot, a lot of IOs, and we, we talk about we talk about maybe selling a Dharma. Um, you know, if somebody came in and offered seventy million or something like that, which I don't think they will in this in, with this economy, but they might. I mean, you know, somebody like Liverpool or Barcelona or somebody like that might. If they did, well, I mean, we've seen today is a game changer, but uh, in two or three years' time, I think Neto is going to be a star. And uh, I, I, you, I wouldn't, know, I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't take it. No, not at all. No, not I, at all. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, but I mean, I, I, it ain't me and you and everybody that decides, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and folks in the she, Yes. You know, I, 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 if, I, yeah. I think that folks to take seventy million now because because we. I don't think they will. I think that they. They, they know exactly who they want for the next 10 years with that 70 million. You'd see three or four 20 million pound players, like Neto type players. And I think that they, they'll play the long game. I think they'll play the long game. And I, I, I think that they'll, if somebody offered 70 million, they'd take it. It was only oh, like, it was only like a 15 or 16 million, I think, for both him and Bruno Giordano in that joint yeah, deal. It was, yeah. Yeah. Which is looking for, for Pedro Neto's side to be an absolute steal. Yeah. Um, it, it's probably one of the best bits of business we did all last summer. Um, yeah. Knowing the way he's just, yeah, obviously has demonstrated this evening. Yeah. I mean, the, the Matino, Matino deal is still, still tops as, uh, what was that, $5 million to, to bring in Jal? Yeah. Jow, I, I, yeah. It's, uh, think about what it would be without that one. Like, that's... Uh, that's that's yeah. been our engine, like. Yeah. I can't imagine a Wolves team without Jambutinho at the minute. <laughs> yeah. But we're yeah. gonna have to obviously prepare for that possibility, and no doubt. Then I mean. And Neves hopefully provided movement space for as long as he is, as long as I think he will. Again, um, I think I think Neves is another one who's who won't be moving soon. No. There'll I mean, be a lot of talk remember. about him, and and the papers will want him to. Uh, much like the, with Adama, they, 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 the whole whole transfer stuff. I don't think they're pushing for them. It's paper talk because they're yeah. currently in the spotlight. So it's all oh, well, what, what, which one of our favourite four big teams that we've got? Um, well, shall we try and sell them to? Do? As, as if there's some victory over yeah. what we did. We engineered this move from that from yeah. the Wolves, but now I yeah. think yeah. they're not going. That's not going to happen. I really don't. I don't think we're going. Yeah. I genuinely don't think we'll cash in on players as such. I think we'll be more likely if one does go, like you, like you said, Sean. Um, it, there'll be a raft of players, and they'll have a reason and a and a plan. Yeah, yeah. To do it. Yeah. I, I'd yeah. be surprised if they do. Yeah, because there, there wasn't well, a big it, outlay in the first place on them. So it's yeah, only yeah. Small I mean, I, I would, I would, I say, would I be surprised? I think I'd be surprised that somebody would offer the money that we'd want. But if they did offer 70 million, like I said, they will they will have three or four players that they will have that, that uh, George Mendes will know that'll be 10, 15, 20 million, and they will build a better side with 
with three or four players. Well, remember, in, uh, I, don't think, I don't think they'd go out and do it. I mean, sorry, I don't think that they would engineer it to happen. But I think it, I think that it's a possibility. And I was just going to jump in and say that in 2017, um, Helda Costa was just yeah. just the thought of a, a game without him was just just maddening to us. And I think people were just in a in a like we can't ever get rid of this guy. He's a linchpin. And uh, and you see, like it just goes to show that under this regime, like no player is not replaceable as as, as hard as it is to to say. Uh, even even somebody like him in it, so. I mean, and you just look at the bench today, and like I wanted to see every single one of those players get on and and see what they could they could do. You know, I, I know we only got five substitutions, but uh, and you notice there was only a uh, only one defender that's that's on that list. So we are uh, we are we are set for the for the future. So I'm really excited to see uh, yeah, see what happens. Think, when is the transfer window, by the way? Um, when, um is it September or? It, it, it will close, I think, on the 5th of October. I think the chance oh. window is, I think, essentially it opens on the 1st of July, and then it will close on the 5th of October. So um, odd. So it, it essentially ends it will end a month later than, than usual. Um, and in terms of, like, those players, so it's a first half of the promotion season, Leo Bonatini with the 12 goals. Who would have thought at that point he would then, after scoring that one against Birmingham City away, which was a 5 for one nil win, that he would have then his form would just then fall off the cliff. It, it can yeah. happen to anybody. And as yeah. I say, with, yeah. say, obviously people doubting the Dharma last season right. after his, uh, his strike against West Ham in what was, I think, his third appearance or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But with, with but cl clearly, in the Dharma's case, thankfully, Nuno gave him a lot of belief. And, um, well, that's certainly paid, paid dividends since last yeah. summer. Um, yeah. But it can happen to anybody. Um, as yeah, we've seen. You can, you can. Although in, injuries I mean, the, the, can be a bugger, of course. Who are your who are your who is your favourite player in this Wolf squad? <sighs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> I'd say it have to, it has to be Traore. I mean, there's there's no other player that gets that reaction when he's on the ball. Like you stop what you're doing. Like there's a Traore. It just has to be like. Like there are very few players that that you take notice of where every single time they touch the ball. Absolutely, I, I, I mean the, he's the one, the one you want to the, the one, the one that I really love watching play is Neves. Oh, I just oh, think mate. the bloke yeah. who's his class. And me, uh, for me, he's my probably my favourite player. I like. He's... I've always loved. I've always loved midfielders anyway, and and it's it's not just what he does with the ball when he's off the ball. He's got great. Just good positioning sense, yeah. And he's grown as well. He's grown into. Yeah. I mean, he struggled a bit at the start of the Premiership, but he's grown into it beautifully. Yeah, yeah. And he and the thing is, he, just before the lockdown and stuff, when he was when he went off the pitch, you noticed when he went off the pitch. Yeah, he was running. Yeah. He was running midfielders. Yeah, just like yeah, I mean, just he, like he, just like tonight. Um, I, I know. Uh, yeah, again, social media going absolutely ablaze with some of the passes he was bringing, swinging around, particularly in that first half. Of which are all just so crisp. Um, yeah. And obviously, the way, not just, not, uh, and also, I think one of, the, one of the real, real factors about him is it's the type of goals he scored. It's not just free kicks, but it's the way yeah. which his, his long shots actually differ. I remember, whilst at uni, I was a, a steward um, up in, I went to Sheffield Hanover University. So, and uh, from second, from that midway second year onwards, I had the fun of being a steward at various places, um, including that of Hillsworth for. A fair bit, um, and uh, lucky enough to be in 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 the in in the spying cop at Hillsborough the night Nevers just oh, oh, passed that ball pass, into the back corner. Into the bottom, into yeah, the bottom that's corner. Beautiful. Absolutely he, beautiful. And, I think even though he obviously had got the one against Hull City at, at the start of the season, yeah. people realised that that kind of goal really was really demonstrated, really demonstrated the man to a T, knowing he exactly knew where he was going to put that ball. He knows what he's. He knows his positives in in such a situation, um, and it was. I think people I'd say from that point knew that we'd got someone very very special. Um, yeah. I mean the, the intelligence, him. the intelligence in yeah. putting that ball to the bottom to look everyone to everyone. You could see all the defenders turn their backs, thinking it's going to be smashed, 
and you just plunk, put, yeah. and you just pl put it perfectly yeah. in the bottom. There wasn't Pass that much it. power behind it, neither. Absolutely, it, was just a no, case it didn't of need to be. Knowing so exactly where it's going to go. Brilliant. And, yeah. well, and of course, the first day of the Premier League season, obviously, last season, again, that cracker against Everton, partly helped yeah. by Pickford being rubbish in goal by going one step the other way before then diving and realising it's too late. <laughs> Uh, he hadn't watched the tape. I mean, I'm I, just, I, uh, I, I just, just I mean, one sec. I've just been added someone in. Sorry, I'm just adding someone in. We have got uh, Nat Tim. I think you're uh, muted, though. No, Matt, he, Nat. he's connecting to the audio. All ah, right, he is. Okay, sorry, I'm a bit. I'm showing my age with this. <laughs> I'm sorry to cut you off there. I just, uh, I didn't want to lose him. It's, uh, I'll uh, now, I'll now sit back and let somebody else talk again. Sorry. <laughs> Nat Tim, long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you joined with any audio, actually, so I don't think we'll be able to hear anything you have to say. Struggle, struggling, but, well, if, if, if Nat Tim comes in, hello. Um, yeah, hello. Anyway, hello. sorry, I'll, I'll just... Uh, I'll, uh, uh, the, the, the only thing I was going to say is that most people talk about his goal, Neves' goal against Derby County, and he did a terrific goal, absolutely terrific. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say it was a hit and out. There was obviously a great deal of skill with it. But mm -hmm. the goal that I, well, the two goals that I actually prefer, right, was, I think, was it Sheffield United down the North Bank end? Yeah. And he, he, he put a real bend and curl and it was in the top stanchion area. Yeah. And it was just unstoppable. It was just a wonderful goal. And then mm -hmm. another one, I, I, I just love that goal he scored against, uh, against the Villa. How, how could you not love it? Oh, <laughs> I just, I just, I, Everybody, every I said to the guy next to me, "This, ne this is going to Neves. Neves is going to put this in." And he, 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 even the other the Villa just never saw it, as if they've never watched Wolves play. It was just wonderful. He knew exactly. <laughs> Jamie Tino knew exactly what he was going to do with it, and so did Ruben Neves on the moment that the free kick was given. It, it was Everybody knew obvious. what he was going to do with it. The whole ground knew, apart from the bloody Villa defence. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, exactly. well, even back. Even back to that Everton game uh, at the beginning of last season, you knew, like you knew that that ball was gonna was gonna hit the target. Um, uh, Tim, are you on? He's no. off. I think. I heard something. Did he leave? Yeah. We chased him away. Tim, yeah. come back, cause we'll uh, we'll hear your thoughts on how my uh, how my quarantine beard. No, I actually cut it off today. It was getting way too itchy. I did a part of a haircut last week, which went a bit awry. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 have, about here. I tell you what, you I have not bothered. Style with that haircut, mate. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. It's <laughs> quarantine chic. That's what that is. It's uh, that's uh, the thing. You gotta, you gotta just cut that off. I think, uh, Bod, you've had a couple as well, but I'm just growing this, this oh, in. It's just, it's a, it's a bowl yeah, cut. And then it got, and, and then it got annoying. And and uh, I'm, I've been mm -hmm. working anyway, so um, uh, I just got rid of it because I thought. It, it, the longer I grew a quarantine beard, the longer quarantine would go on for. So I shaved it off. Didn't didn't know you were able to work. Uh, I didn't know the the all male review was back open. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was it was in a car park. Of, of course. <laughs> We joke, but uh, you know, is that happening there? Because that's happening in America. So they have drive through uh, drive through clubs apparently. So. Welcome, welcome, I guess. I don't know. Uh, verdicts, though. Verdicts today. We haven't talked really as much about that. We've been talking a lot about the future, but uh, verdicts on the match. Like, I don't know if you want to go through the rankings for the, for the starters or not. Uh, I, I, thought, I thought Cody had a couple of uh, crucial moments uh, inside, uh, inside of the box that, that, he, that he saved. But, uh, you know, for me, it was Traore, uh, Neto, and... Uh, and and just Jimenez his his work today like uh, it's, it's just beautiful. I know I didn't see enough with was uh, I know he got an assist, but uh, Doherty like I just wanted to see him uh, more involved, more involved. But uh, what do you guys think? Well, it, to be fair to Doherty, he did supply the assist for the second goal. He, he did, that, yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, I I, well, I, know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. You you would have heard me say that if you weren't hearing my echo a thousand times. Uh, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, he had, he had a big moment, but I don't know. Who do you guys who do you guys rate today? 
Well, I thought uh, I thought Cody was all right. I thought Bolly was all right. Uh, Sice, I thought, had a few uh, moments. I mean, he's been a good player for us, Sice. But if he, uh, if anybody could be upgraded in the defence, I think it's probably him. Uh, and he, he can be a bit erratic at times, can't he? he you know, yeah. he's prone for diving in, and he, you know, he's a great, he's a good player. Uh, he's not a great player. He's a good player, and he fits well into the side. But you know, if uh, if if we were going to upgrade and be a Champions League side, he'd be one of the players I think that you'd be replacing. Well, when he uh, when when Nuno moved him to the back, weren't we all just uh, wondering? All right, he's finally kind of lost it. He's he's putting Sice on the back three, so that's not. Uh, but then uh, he's earned some great performances and and even ran ran Bennett out. So that was, you know, I guess Bennett was already on the on the outs by then. But you know, let's. Uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought. So uh, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, David? Who do you rate? Who do I rate today? I again. Well, as I said, uh, I, I just admire Neves and his uh, his control of the midfield. Um, He's a beautiful uh, man. He is. He is absolutely. Uh, I thought Matinho got forward a bit more than normal. Person now, yeah. so I thought, which was which is good to see because I always I always get a bit disappointed when when all the midfielders sit too deep. Yeah. That worries me a lot. Um, mm. uh, I, I, was, I was happy with all of them to be honest. I, 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 I thought Den Donker was a bit quiet at times, but yeah, but, yeah. but then you but saying that, I did notice when he went off that we mm. kind of the midfield was a bit. We lost a bit of possession for a while. I mean, we got back into it again, but. No, I thought they all. There's a couple of hairy moments in defence where they're all just. They didn't seem to clear it yeah. well, but but really, I mean, this is, I'm trying to find something to yeah. say was bad. I, I thought it was business as usual, really, which is, a, yeah. is a, a, which sounds bad, but that's a great compliment. Bear in <clears> mind, <throat> there's been such a layoff for so long, and you look at some of the other teams who've just look, do look like they've had a big break, and we've come back and looked pretty much. As yep. it is, that's that's fantastic, yeah. mm-hmm. and that's real yeah. testament to the coaching, I think, and yeah, and, yeah. and their professionalism, really, as players. That was that was I, the I big. Had a, I had a I had a look on the uh, the West Ham forum, uh, uh, well, a couple of West Ham forums, and they were absolutely slighting their their team and David Moyes, and I think they're getting relegated, and you know, Karen were... Brady is trending on Twitter as well. Sorry, but. <laughs> Karen Brady, Karen Brady, Baroness Brady, who's one of the co-chairs. Yeah, uh, she she's being absolutely hammered by, <laughs> by fans as well, along with David Gold. Um, yeah, that's what they get for once owning Birmingham City, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, on the West Ham forum, I was looking at there was one or two that were actually complimentary to Wolves. You know, I mean, there was one post on there that said something like. You know, they've got a system, they've got a plan B, they've got a manager that knows what they're doing, they've got um, ambitious owners, they've got a great young side, everything that we're not. <laughs> you can't argue with well, it, can you, really? Well, that's the thing. I think I think we really are very <laughs> difficult for teams to play against because if they we're, because, because of our organisation, we're difficult then to break down. So if, you, yeah. so if you get too frustrated and push too much on, you get picked We're off. very good, very very good at the counter attack, which is where mm-hmm. our game is great. Yeah. Uh, but as everyone knows, we struggle a bit more against the team with parts of us. But who doesn't yeah. really yeah. listen? Yeah. Well, there's uh, there's that fearlessness though, which is one of my favourite things. Like you know, as soon as we made it up, uh, we're like, how are we going to handle playing these guys twice every year? You know, Liverpool and Man City and all that. And it's just you, the game doesn't change. Like the game plan, like, you know, you'll you'll feel set up differently, but you know you. Every time we're gonna we're gonna go punch somebody in the mouth, and I think that's just uh, so refreshing. I think it's really it's really like altered the like landscape of the Premier League, though. I feel like because I feel like a lot of teams are are gonna try and copy that as, as they should, right? Like why sit back for a draw when you can you know you can beat Man City twice, you know, in spectacular fashion. Which for this season, if I would if you were told me, all right, it's it's uh, Traore's got the ball one on one, you know, to to win a game. I would be like, no, no. Like he's he's developed his cross, you know. He doesn't have that finishing, and then and then he just it's it's the evolution of that that character in two uh, 
in two years it's just it's it's kind of breathtaking so oh we've got someone yes, someone yes. someone waiting to join us one second oh no, somebody else oh uh, there's a queue they're lining up to get in <laughs> oh and here they, here they come are they coming in are they coming reese reese davis I don't know. In the oh. run up, as, in the in the run up to Choi Always two goals oh, at City. That, oh, we got no sound. So, sorry, we got no sound. In the run up to Choi Always two goals at City, he had assisted, I think, three or four during the season, which is, which his confidence had therefore just rocketed. Yeah. And obviously, um, it was a from that moment onwards. I think he's just, yeah, just just burst on brilliantly. Reese, can you hear us? Welcome, raised. He went. He went to mute and then oh, unmuted and then mute he's again. On, yes, he's on double mute. No, no, no pictures, no sound. A man of mystery. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him on. Um, I'm just going to know what he's got to say. Be interesting. It's better than listening to me for another ten minutes. No, you have a, you have a, a nice Clark Gable quality about you. I don't know what that means. I can't think of anything Clark Gable's been in. I'm like, I'm 15 years old. <laughs> no, he's gone. Right. Oh well, no, I'm, 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 he's gone. I'm hopefully, hopefully he'll come back. Well, I hope to, and we'll get swinging. No disrespect to our other guests, obviously. I just uh, it's just nice to spread the love. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, let's just have a quick look again. I'll just look on this website just to make sure that nobody is getting upset. No, just no, Alex. No. Uh, just Alex uh, complimenting himself. <laughs> <laughs> is that not a thing? That's 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 what we do in America. Uh, <laughs> it's very admirable. Uh, and it, but what everything you say is utterly truthful as well. So that's a good point. That's a good point. So I don't know. We'll uh, we'll get we'll get wolves to bring me over, and I'll uh, I'll sit next to to Mikey. And um, oh my gosh, it's, 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 it's been that long that I've uh, I've forgotten I've forgotten names. I can see his beautiful Tomo face. There he is. Lord, it's um, I'm out of uh, I'm out of whack. You were thought to that he didn't grow a quarantine mustache, did he? Tomo? Oh, I don't know. He had a, he had a lovely he had a lovely uh, mustache when he was playing. I mean, we we did. I remember I remember when it, remember when he shaved it off, and everyone was like, "What? Who's that?" Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, we we've been on him for years to grow it back, but it's not happening. Like, because I used to I used to only be able to listen to matches. So actually, you guys are all getting the the USA experience now that you can only see him on on TV. So how's it feel? <laughs> it's it's it hurts right like well, you just want to you want to be there yeah, I, have to, yeah. I have to listen to the ones with the i have to listen to the ones with the uh artificial crowd because it's too weird without yeah yeah i don't i don't mind i don't mind the artificial like that that helps me into it and the yeah. it's just kind of relaxing to have that crowd noise anyway i don't really want to hear them uh scream oh, it is kind of interesting to see what they what they have to say when they're on the pitch that you don't normally get to hear but yeah i'm i'm on the autism spectrum which means loud noises to me can sometimes be a bit off-putting so it was actually, it actually i must admit quite felt felt quite soothing hearing it hearing just all the um what was what was going on from the sidelines and so forth i don't mind it with the crowd here but i didn't think it was too bad when uh, listening into it i think it was wednesday for man city doing yeah. arsenal over um uh, but it's, uh, it's a little bit for the Brighton games this afternoon, um, of which, well, for us as well, is a very helpful result. Arsenal being stuck in ninth. Yeah. yeah. Right. Looking at the might not yeah. even get into you at all together. Arteta has a building job and a half yeah. down at the Emirates. I um, mean, it was, and of course, ne Neil Mupe, I think, is inadvertently now a Wolves legend, considering he was the one who scored the goal for Brentford to get us up. Oh, he, he, he was, was yes, yes, yes. Didn't they? Yeah, I forgot about that. It was 93rd minute or something against Fulham and then I was in the uni library having just in fact done a shift down at Chesterfield against Mansfield where the host lost. Um, which pretty much had condemned them. Then sneaky got a stream, as I shouldn't do. <laughs> um, in, the, in, the, in the uni library in the 
uh, um, had a few tears when, when promotion was secured, let's say. But then had a few drinks that night and was light. Um, but I, I, do not, it is interesting. To see, it is just, do not I think would be amazing if, say, our San at least Leicester, if two of, say, us Leicester and Sheffield United could get into the Champions League, I think it would really upset the ap apple cart and the establishment. On, yeah, not on as big as uh, on as big as way uh, as obviously Leicester did in sixteen. Yeah, as a once in a generation. I'm going to have to go, guys. The my battery's going on my phone. I just <laughs> had the warning. Are you going to do this again after another match? Are you guys? That's the plan. We'll try and do this. I'm, and, and to be honest, we'll try and just do them ad hoc in between games as well. We'll just oh, go right. on. All right. OK. Well, I know how to do it now. I've loaded Zoom up on my phone. So I'll see you uh, See you soon, guys. Be safe. Take care. All right. Cheers, my man. See you soon, Sean. See, see you later. Have a good one. Oh. And there we go. So, good old Sean. Back down to three. So. So. And now this shows where we're not professional broadcasters because we've got to try and fill the time somehow. <laughs> or we could end it here. Maybe we'll get better at it. Here. Maybe we should end it here for, for today and then um, yeah. and then we can uh, try it again either in the week or after the next game. Certainly after the next game anyway. That's I mean, I... Uh... Wednesday. Wednesday will be interesting for me because I'm also, I'm also on a call with the Mayor of the West Midlands and a few other people during the game. Oh, right. So I'm going to be, I think I have a blazer over the top of my bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's cool. Do what you got to do. Indeed, yeah. But I'll have the rules game on the TV and then the Zoom call on here, so it's gonna be interesting. But uh, All right. so uh, we're, looking, we're looking good. Uh, last last question then. Uh, let's let's do uh, predictions. Are always a good way to end it, right? What do you see on Wednesday? Wolves, Bournemouth return to the Molyneux. That's right. I said the Molyneux. Deal with it. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. You're, you're a nice, you're, you're a nice man, so we'll let you off. Uh, you think I'm nice? It's all just face. I get over there and I start punching people. <laughs> so after this, he'll be telling me off. <laughs> Wednesday prediction. Uh, it's one of those games which could, again, we could either do a. It's one of those really interesting games where we could either have a. Yeah, either do either do what we did this afternoon, this evening, or it could be a bit of a banana skin. Um, but I think, I think with the way in which Bournemouth Palace is going, is still two 0 um, Palace, um, and the way in which we played this afternoon, and the clear strength in our squad, I think we'll be, I think another two, maybe three 0 win, will do. And obviously the way in which maybe another jam, bit of jammy Tino magic as he did on the south coast back in November, mm -hmm. that absolute pearl of, of a free kick. Um, I think particularly Bournemouth being in. In a relegation battle means they're gasping for every last breath. Um, so clearly, that will hope, I hope. Clearly, you know they're losing at the minute. They'll obviously give it their best, but same with West Ham, where where we're just far too strong. I think that will be the case again. I do. Uh, I think we'll get the win. I'm going to say it's going to be two one. Uh, I think uh, Jota is going to get back on the sheet. I think we'll have an unchanged uh, starting eleven actually, but. Uh, I think uh, I think they'll get one, and I think we'll get one bias based on the the holes that, that we saw today. But I'm gonna go two one wolves. What do you think, Bob? You can you can take us I, off. I will end this by saying I think we will win. I think we will go behind to a dodgy penalty. It's Bournemouth after all. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then we'll just come back. Oh, I think we'll I think we'll dominate pretty much the game and. And, and and it won't again. It will look much like today, where we're never really in danger. I would be all right with that. Absolutely. Being okay, nice then. and comfortable. Yeah. I mean, that's a good way to end at nine o'clock UK Absolutely. time. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. So, um, if you have enjoyed that, um, good. Uh, if you haven't enjoyed that, they're probably not listening by now. If they haven't enjoyed it. Yeah. But if they watch this back, if they've got this far after watching it back, because of us generally going on about echoes and stuff like that, um, well, we'll do it again. And please, uh, you'll get the link on the website to how to join it. And you can come in, have a chat with us. Uh, we won't say anything. And, and, yeah, there you go. Uh, so 
Goodbye. Adios. Up the walls. Up the walls. <laughs>